How are we doing guys? 545 Prepper here. I'm going to go over some of the Bulgarian 545 mags out there. Uh, there's a lot of confusion when it comes to the color uh, differences between them. If you're purchasing one online, someone says, oh, this is brown, but it turns out it's not what people consider a brown. There are many different shades and they're actually pretty close and in different lighting situations, they look different. Uh, Generally, if you can, if you're looking to buy some, get some pictures in natural light uh, if you're unsure of which shade it is. There are some differences that help, but it's not a for sure. So, I have three different arsenals uh, of manufacturer of magazines here. I got Circle 25. I got a black one here. I got Circle 21. And then we got Circle 10. This is a pretty good representation. I'm missing maybe one or two, I do believe. Uh, Circle 25, I got a black one. There's a fire brick that I know of. I'm not sure if there are any other colors, not that come to mind that I've seen. Circle 21, black's pretty common. You got a brown, it's also pretty common. Saddle tan, fire brick red. Then for Circle 10, you got plum, OD green, and black. So once you distinguish uh, if you're getting a Circle 10 or a Circle 21 mag, on, on average, those are your ones you'll find. Uh, Circle 10s, the Plum and the OD, just like the 762 co counterparts, they're pretty collectible, so they kind of demand a premium generally. Uh, at least right now, I think the market's between 80 and 120, depending on how much someone's willing to pay and how much someone wants to sell it for. The... Bulgarian colored ones, they're still pretty decently priced right now uh, in comparison to some of the Russian mags that are starting to go up in value. Your browns, your fire bricks, generally 30 to 40, 45 sometimes you see them posted for people will buy them generally. Uh, the saddle tans, they're a little le less common, so people generally will pay a little bit more, maybe 5, 10 bucks more. Or if someone's just missing one from a collection, they might pay a little bit more. Alright, the two that I see that get mixed up the most would be this brown and the fire brick red. In some lightings, they look very similar. But in daylight, you can definitely tell the difference. However, if the lighting isn't very good, you can sometimes still see the differences. Uh, if it has an ink stamp... The browns have this very large circular ink stamp. The firebrick reds have a much smaller one. I have not seen a firebrick red with a large one, and I haven't seen a brown with a small one. Um, saddle tan, this one has a faint small one just like the firebrick red. So, can't really use that to distinguish on those two. Um, I do believe the black Circle 21s also use the large ink stamp but it's pretty easy to tell uh, black versus brown uh, to my knowledge the circle tens are pretty much for export and commercial sales such as uh cave R sells them with their right with their arsenal rifles circle 21s and circle 25s to my knowledge are surplus only pretty much i don't think they came with a factory gun Aside from maybe some parts kits that Century built someday, but then again, that parts kit itself is also surplus. So, so this is what I call shit rainbow because they're all slightly different. Thanks for watching, guys.